Hey guys, so for Come Follow Me this week, we are studying 1 Nephi's chapters 1 through 7, the stories of Nephi and Lehi fleeing Jerusalem, then returning, then leaving, then returning, and then leaving again. But today we get to use something that I've always wanted to do, is uh, using Google Earth to kind of show the routes that Nephi and Lehi might have taken from Jerusalem to the Valley of Lemuel. I think this can really help with bringing the Book of Mormon to life, helping you see how real it is, and also strengthening our faith in Christ, because once we kind of see the area around here, we can better see Nephi's faith in Christ and the things he was willing to do to keep his commandments. And let me open up Google Earth right here and just kind of show you where we are. So this is the area where the Book of Mormon starts off in, in Jerusalem, and I've put a little pin down here on the map so you can kind of see where Jerusalem is. Now, let's kind of give the background story here. The setting is 600 BC Jerusalem, and Lehi is a prophet trying to get the people to repent, telling them that if they don't repent, they're going to be destroyed. And the people don't know this yet, but we know because history that this is just before the Babylonians capture Jerusalem and take a lot of Jews captive. So Lehi is trying to warn them of this impending doom, but the people don't listen. They actually threaten his life, and so the Lord commands Lehi to flee Jerusalem. We know that Lehi fled Jerusalem and traveled south to the borders of the Red Sea, and then from this point traveled three days further south to the Valley of Lemuel. And this is where a cool new article from BYU Studies comes in by Warren Aston about the different routes that Lehi might have taken to this area. And what's neat about Google Earth is you could take images and overlay them on the map with this little icon right here. I think that's it. Yeah, overlay, image overlay. And what I've done is I've taken uh, the map from Warren Aston's article and overlaid it here on the Google Earth. And so there's Jerusalem. Down here's the borders of the Red Sea, and down here's the uh, Valley of Lemuel, and there's four proposed routes. Now, Aston kind of disqualifies these routes because they went into enemy territory. These two are more direct. He favors this one because it's more direct. There's less conflict. If you travel on this one here, uh, there's some really steep cliffs, and there might have also been like a guard tower. Now, what's also neat with Google Earth is you can enable photos that other people have taken in that area. So if you just click on this button right here, Photos, then all these little dots are photos along the way, along Lehi's trail. So let's just start checking out some of these photos. Along this trail, it was really rocky and stuff, and so it would have been hard for Lehi to travel this way, especially if they had camels. The Book of Mormon says that they um, brought their tents, and Bedouin tents were really heavy, and so you would need camels to carry it. And once you have camels carrying tents, you're going to need a smoother trail. Now, something to also point out is that water was pretty rare in this area, so... You kind of had to have been familiar with the area to know where the water holes were or where the wells were. And that's one reason why scholars tend to think that Lehi might have had a profession where he kind of knew the route southwards and knew where to stop for water and things like that. He could have possibly been a um, smelter, and so he might have known where the Timna mines were, for example. That's pretty neat.
So just imagine that you're Lehi's family traveling through this area in the hot, scorching sun or late at night in the dark. And what the Book of Mormon says is that they traveled this distance five different times. They went back multiple times to grab the plates and to persuade Ishmael's family to travel with them. And the distance between here and here was about a two weeks journey, about 250 miles. So you could understand why Laman and Lemuel would complain and say that this was a hard thing for them to do. But then you can also see Nephi's example and his faith in Christ for being willing to keep the commandments, even if he had to travel through this desert area. So I've noticed that as you travel southward from Jerusalem, you come to a more flat desert with a lot more sand, and then you kind of get to the Red Sea. And here's the beach resort that Nephi and Lehi stayed at, the place where uh, they relaxed and just chilled out for the rest of the Book of Mormon. After they came to the borders of the Red Sea, the text says that they traveled three more days south until they came to a place that was called, or that Lehi called, the Valley of Lemuel. And they stopped at this place because apparently it had a river that was continuously running. Researchers have looked for this area because a continuously running river in this area right here would have been rare. And in, indeed, it is rare. And there's really only one location that they've discovered called the uh, Wadi Taib al -Isim. And let me take off this picture here. Now, research shows that in ancient times, there was a continuously running river here. And even today, there's sometimes a stream or underground stream that comes out through here. And these are some pretty cool pictures of the, I guess, the mouth of the river. There's a nice picture of some water. Now, Lehi and his family probably camped a bit further inland here where it was a bit flatter. And if we turn on the map here, you can see there's not that many images around this area. I've seen pictures of this valley before, and there's sometimes a little stream, and it's kind of like a valley with a bunch of rocks and cliffs and stuff. And so in the Book of Mormon, it says that this is where Lehi talked to his sons Laman and Lemuel and encourage them to be righteous. And he used the river and the valley as metaphors about how to be righteous. And he tells Laman to be as righteous as this river that was continuously flowing through this area into the ocean. And if you think about it, rare rivers in that time was something special. And so this would have conjured up imagery to Laman about how important it was to be this righteous amid such a deserty place. And then he told uh, Lemuel to be as strong and steadfast as this valley. And if you look at the pictures here again, the valley was pretty strong and steadfast. It was rocky. It was sure. And so Lehi conjuring up that imagery to Lemuel was really powerful in this setting. So I hope you can better see Lehi and Nephi's travel through the desert and kind of their faith in Christ to keep his commandments despite how hard things were. I think it's a good example for us. We go through times in our life where it's kind of like a desert, where we're sad, depressed, lonely. But just like Nephi or Lehi, if we keep the commandments, follow Christ, follow their examples, we'll also be blessed just as they were. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed going through Google Earth with me. What I recommend is that you read 1 Nephi chapters 1 through 7 and kind of keep some of this imagery in your mind. Maybe as you're reading, go through Google Earth and check out some of the images or show your family. Thanks. Bye.